Kavinsky and everything, and uh, they were, you know, popular then, and they were big then, and all the rest. But over the years, it's gotten way worse. Uh, once ESPN started carrying their games and, and airing all their games, and I mean, they've gone straight to, uh, you know, uh, every single game's on TV. I mean, there is not one game that isn't on that Duke plays. And they get massive national exposure. They get massive uh, national television, network television, uh, you know, on top of ESPN, they get network. And, um, you know, it's almost as if there are a few programs like Duke and North Carolina and Kansas uh, and I can name a few others, but nothing like those, that the exposure that they get and the amount of hype that they get in coverage. Now, I won't deny a lot of it's uh, fair that they, uh, you know, they are great programs. I'm not going to sit here and, and be stupid about it and say they don't deserve to be getting this attention. They're always good, and I think Kentucky's in that barrel as well. But um, it gets to the point where, um, in my opinion, no one else even exists. Uh, there's, uh, th they just don't cover any other teams. Uh, it, the college basketball is really, uh, frankly, in my opinion, uh, it, it's almost become nothing but those teams that I just mentioned. Kansas gets as much as anyone else. Uh, you know, in terms of the, all their games are on TV as well. Like Villanova's number one in the country. When's the last time you saw Villanova on TV? They're, they're never on TV. Like, you'd think they weren't even a, a basketball program. Meanwhile, they're number one. Like, Virginia is great. They get on TV when they're playing Duke or North Carolina or Miami. Uh, Michigan State gets on TV, right? Uh, the other day, ESPN blew off Indiana Purdue and showed A&M and Kentucky because Kentucky gets so much juice. And they got screwed in that game in uh, College Station. Uh, Arizona is always good. They never are on TV. Maryland gets on TV more than Arizona. Louisville gets on TV a lot because of Rick Pitino. Meanwhile, they're uh, having sex with strippers uh, at, at Louisville. I mean, let's face it, it's true. And God bless you. Good evening, Louisville. It's not a reflection of the city. Uh, they never show West Virginia. They show Iowa State games and aims only, right? Isn't that about right? When do they show Purdue? They got a great team. Do they ever get on television? Never. A&M, they got on last week. It's the first time i ever seen them. Xavier got on because they beat Nova. They never get on. Cincinnati gets on more than Xavier. I think people don't even know Xavier's in Cincinnati. I mean, SMU, they don't get on because they cheat. Notre Dame, uh, they, does anyone care? I mean, Notre Dame had a really good team last year, Pat Connaughton, right? They don't get on anymore, but they still get on because they're Notre Dame, right? Texas Shaka Khan is coaching them, and, and uh, they're, not, they're never on. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, let me rock it, let me rock it, Shaka Khan. Let me rock it, you so I always have to do that, sorry. Love, we love Connison. He should have taken the baseball money and uh, been, been a pitcher. His NBA career is an absolute disaster. Good evening, Portland. He's your best player ever, and he's averaging one point a game in the NBA. <laughs> it's just a disaster. And we root for him more than anyone else in Portland. Right? All right, let's go to uh, keep it rolling. Paul in Harrisburg, you're on CBS Sports Radio. Right. Uh, without a doubt. What? I mean, whatever. Like, uh, who cares? What is it? I mean, what is some kid that studies too much going to come up and beat me up? I don't think so. I mean...
It's true. I love you, Paul. Good job. It's true. I am telling the truth. Paul believes there's a hit out on me now. Um, it must be the uh, Duke uh, lacrosse team that's got a hit out on me now. Do they still have lacrosse there after that uh, rape scandal? I'm just checking. Jeff in Milwaukee, you're on CBS Sports Radio. <laughs> I don't even care. What do I care? Lacrosse. Everybody here loves lacrosse in, in uh, the East Coast, and I'm just I'm Yawn City. <laughs> I know they have sticks, and they hurt each other, and there's weapons involved. Well, I think that, uh, you know, there's like a few games left. I think their last game is uh, next Saturday. So I don't think that's the worst thing I've ever heard. I don't think he should be suspended for the remainder of the postseason. I think he should be suspended for whatever games are left in the regular season, which is like two. So a two or three game suspension, if it's three games they got left, I don't know what they, they're probably playing. Uh, in fact, I don't even... Uh, I don't even think they're playing tomorrow. They must be playing Sunday because they always have a national game on the weekend that's on network television. So I'm sure Duke's playing sometime this weekend. But I'm just saying, I don't have a problem with that thinking. Uh, he already had a flagrant and uh, for the game against Louisville for doing the exact same thing. And now uh, he's done it again at Cameron and gotten away with it because... Um, you know, and I don't even know, uh, am I wrong in saying this? They never even called anything in the game. <laughs> they didn't call anything on him in the game. So, uh, Yeah. I, I think he's not a, a professional basketball player, in my opinion. Shep, do you think that guy will make it in the pros? I don't think he'll even come close. He's not even, he's not even like Kyle Korver's toenail fungus. He's, he's worse. Trust me, you. The reason he's, he's their leading scorer is because they have a garbage team this year. I don't care. By the time he's a senior, he'll score uh, 25 a game. But I still don't think that makes him an NBA player. I, I just don't see him making it. That, that's just me right now. I, I could be wrong for sure. Uh, Gerald in Houston, you're on CBS Sports Radio. Gerald, what's up, brother? Right. Right. Okay. All right, let, let, here's the deal. The, uh, the runner is required to make a bona fide attempt or an umpire can call the runner and the batter out. And uh, that, that gets sticky with me. I, I got a problem with that because, uh, you know, all right, so if a batter runs out of the base path and he's, like, you know, running down to first base, let's say, right? And he runs wide and gets out of the base path to avoid a tag or something. I can see where the runner's called out. But when a guy is running to second and slides to take out, let's say, Tejada and breaks his leg, 
in my opinion, this is just me, I don't see what the batter has to do with that play. It's the runner that should be called out or thrown out of the game if he uh, attacks a player with his spikes high and breaks his leg. Throw him out, or he's automatically out. But what does the uh, batter have to do with anything? Not that I'm Mr. Um, you know, uh, analytics in baseball. I'm a pure baseball guy. Simple. What does the batter have to do with the guy running to second base and, and trying to slide into second and take out the, uh, the second baseman or the shortstop? Well, you tell me, because uh, that makes absolutely zero sense to me. I, I can't figure that out.